Okay, hi there and welcome to another short video, uh, part of a series looking at how to build chains of reasoning to get uh, increased marks in analysis questions. We're taking a series of micro issues and in this one we'll look at the economics of plastic pollution and the possible use of indirect taxes. Globally, if one thinks about uh, the change in plastic pollution and waste, clearly there's been a huge increase in 2017. Uh, 8,300 million metric tons of, of total plastic pollution. Globally, 80% of that plastic sits in landfill or natural environment. Uh, just over 10% is incinerated and 9% recycled. Different countries, of course, have, have higher rates of recycling than that. And the UK government is thinking about introducing a tax, a charge on single-use plastic cups, for example, used in the coffee shop industry, and single-use plastic bottles including, for example, sports drinks and mineral water. Here's the question. How might a tax on plastic bottles change behaviour? So this is inviting analysis. Analysis comes first before evaluation. So I'm not going to do any evaluation in this video, but take you through an example of how you could build a chain of reasoning to score high analysis marks. Within the chain, build your points up uh, using connective phrases. So here we go. One aim of an indirect tax is to increase the private cost to consumers of purchasing products that use lots of pl plastic packaging. So, for example, you're trying to increase the private cost of people who, who buy a bottle of mineral water to take to the gym or on the way to work. A specific tax on manufacturers of drinks. Don't forget this will be a tax on the manufacturers initially uh, will cause a rise in their costs. This is shown in my analysis diagram. Uh, look at the colour coding here. Increase the private cost uh, invites or tells the examiner that you're using relevant concepts. Uh, we're talking about a specific tax rather than a percentage tax. Will cause invites, of course, theoretical relationships to be built into the answer. And just flag up in your exam, flag up neatly that there's an analysis diagram on the way. This is shown in my analysis diagram. There's all sorts of diagrams you could use. I put uh, on, the, on the slide here two examples of, of indirect taxes one on the left where demand is fairly elastic where there'd be relatively little change in price but a big change in demand on the right hand side the coefficient of elasticity is much lower perhaps less than one in this case the same tax would cause a bigger change in price but actually a smaller impact on the quantity of plastic bottles bought and sold either way uh, a good analysis diagram is clearly going to score well for you building the chain of reasoning. So a tax will cause a rise in costs. If demand is priced inelastic, as we saw in the second diagram in the previous slide, then manufacturers will be able to pass on most of the tax to the consumer. They'll be able to raise the price. That's called passing the burden of the tax. As a result, in red here is, uh, those of you who have been following the video series will know, as a result is a connective phrase. It helps glue together great analysis. As a result, there'll be a contraction along the demand curve, leading to a fall in quantity bought as consumers respond to the price change, a behavioural change uh, incentivised by the higher price. This leads to another connective phrase. This leads to a reduction in the amount of plastic waste that potentially heads to landfill sites. As a response, again, a connective phrase, Suppliers may reformulate their products so that less plastic is used in the manufacturing process. Uh, for example, they may move towards uh, recyclable paper cups or what have you, or, or just less plastic in the first place, cutting the amount of pollution that's, uh, that's possible. Here we have an example of a chain of reasoning, which is basically answering the question. Uh, there's no evaluation here. We leave that for later. Analysis comes first and then that opens the door to great evaluation. But we're using here some connective phrases, if you like, to create a chain of reasoning to answer the question. Okay, thanks for joining in on this video.